Welcome to another edition of the Dan Pre Show. Clayton Coffin coming to you today with the Lord's men's basketball coach. Two big games this week. Coming up, we've got 20th ranked Worcester, and the Lords are on the road this Saturday, February 7th at Ohio Wesleyan. And Coach, I want to thank you for taking time, uh, game prepping for a big matchup tonight against yeah. Worcester. Before we get to that, though, let's uh, look back last week's game against Oberlin and Allegheny. Yeah. And uh, we talked to you after the Allegheny game. Just the offense, we struggled a lot last week. You know, yeah. Missed some open shots, especially from a three-point range. And you know, after looking at the tape, what jumped out to you the most yeah. from our team's play last yeah. week? Yeah, well, we have we've had a lot of trouble making shots, uh, no question, and which is very different from what we were in the beginning of the right. year. We were making perimeter shots uh, with with regularity and had trouble scoring around the basket. Now it's kind of flip flop for us. So, um, but I mean, those guys are trying. They're not not trying to miss shots. We're getting good shots, and so. And they're good enough players, so we just have to hope to, things will turn for them. We did not play very well Wednesday at Oberlin. I, I didn't think, you know, I did a very good job. I don't think our team was really ready to play, so that's kind of my responsibility. We played better Saturday mm -hmm. and just couldn't make enough plays down the stretch. You know, it's a pretty, pretty decent team we played, a team that's third in our league now. We had chances. We just couldn't, couldn't convert enough baskets to, uh, down, down the stretch to, to win. You want to find a silver lining. Uh, I thought one of the biggest – keys for us and I know I know we didn't get the outcomes we wanted but we got to the free throw line a, a great yeah. deal in those those two games hit about 78 percent as a team and did, did you like the motion I know we didn't execute as best we could but the yeah shots no, we, were there, we, we are we're, we're getting better shots and we are shooting a few more free throws now um, our free throw differentials getting back closer to even or a little bit plus for us which is probably a result of us going inside a, a, a little bit more um, and we shot a little higher percentage because for whatever reason, we were not shooting as high a percentage from the free throw line as probably, probably we should have. So I think we're pretty close. I really do. I mean, it's easy to say, but I do think we're we're pretty close. Um, we just have to kind of get over the hump. We, we were playing pretty well going into last mm -hmm. week. Again, did not play very well Wednesday. Played better Saturday. But I, I do think we're, we're, we're pretty close to being a, a, a pretty good team. All right, let's talk about tonight's game against Worcester. We saw them back on January yeah. 7th. And uh, two halves, we battled with them. Yeah. Uh, Came up a little bit on the short end, but we shot pretty well. Maybe not we at did. the free throw line, but uh, you know we, we hung with those guys when they're you know tenth in the country. Yeah, they're on a two game losing streak. Tell us about the Fighting Scots. Sure. And what they well, bring. we we did. We shot it really well. Didn't shot really poorly from the free throw line, but shot it really well. Hung in there. Tim wasn't able to play that game, so hopefully he gives us a little bit of a little bit of a boost. But we did. We we, we guarded fairly well. Um, I don't think we can get to a game where they're, they're really explosive in the full court and getting up and down and, and fast breaks. I, I don't think we can get to a game where it's, you know, 100 to, to 95. I just don't think yeah. that's they're, – they're at their best that in, in those kind of games. So I, I think if we can get a little bounce inside scoring, if we can try and make them shoot, shoot shots over top, um, I, th I think we'll have a chance. They do come in having lost 2-0 for the first time in our league in a really, really long, long time. So I'm sure they will, you know, made some adjustments and, and be pretty, pretty motivated to, to play. So, but it's a good challenge for us. You know, our league has has good challenge. That's what we tell the guys. You have real opportunities to play two nationally ranked teams this week, and that's uh, that, that's good if you, you yeah. want to test yourself against really good te people and play good teams and you know, big bigger challenges, bigger reward, and, and that's kind of what our league presents for, for us. And then this coming Saturday at Ohio Wesleyan, and mm -hmm. I, the thing that stuck out to me the most when they were here. You know, I think that was that was the first. Yeah. That was their first game of the year, yeah. and uh, our third, if I recall. They have a lot of scores. A lot the, of guys the, can score. Yeah. Axelrod, that yeah. the, kind of the five eight yeah. guard, was yeah. was kind of trouble for us. Yeah. Uh, talk about about the battling bishops, and you know how can we, you know, hopefully get yeah. a win against Interesting them. Interesting team because their 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 starting point guard from last year, who was, you know, freshman year in the league or backup freshman year in our league, is is not with the team anymore. So they bring in a freshman point guard, don't really miss a beat, but they. They have real matchup problems. They don't have a real true like back to the basket post guys and five men, but their fours and fives can really shoot threes. They're shooting like 33 threes a game, making almost 12 of them. So just very different, you know, playing really quick, shooting a lot of shooting a lot of threes, um, a lot of long rebounds. Um, they've kind of bought into that's how that's how they're playing, and five guys that can, can all shoot it. So just really really different different matchup problems there for for us. We've got three weeks left. Yeah, and we've got uh, six games. I yeah. think is there. And we got we got to make some make up some ground after yeah. uh, you know a couple of tough losses last yeah. week. What's uh, what's your message to the team? Sure. Over those next three well, weeks? we lost a little ground this past week, but then really anything you can do about it. You just got to keep trying to move forward. And in reality, we have a third of our conference season left. You know, we say we only have three weeks, but you play 18 games. We have got six of them left. So we just have to have to win as many of them as we can. And I think if you look at our league, 
there's two teams that have kind of separated themselves in the two we play this week. But after that, um, it, it just in the scores of the games and the win losses of the games, there's really not a, a big difference. Um, where there's some people that, you know, there's still a lot of chance for people to host a conference tournament game. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people to, to make the tournament. There, right. There's a lot of chance for people not to make the tournament. So we just have to really play as well as we can and, and, and see where that see where that brings us. But but there certainly is a lot of a lot of jumble there and a lot of a lot of places to, to move forward. So we just we have to we have to try and play our best basketball. We have six teams that'll be, be good, but I think six games that we can we can win. The Lords again are playing twenty three Worcester tonight at Tom Arena at seven third. We hope to see you there and if not we'll have live coverage on athletics.kenyon.edu. And then the men are going to be playing at Ohio Wesleyan this Saturday, February seventh. They hope to see your support out there in Delaware. All right, Coach, my final question yeah. for you. Obviously, uh, Division One National Signing Day is, yeah. is here. It's Wednesday, February 4th. What do you make of all the hoopla around guys picking hats sure. on TV, yeah. decommitting after committing you know, a year ago to one school? Does that tick you off as a coach? Well, it's just a different, different level than we're at, a different, yep. different situation and different, different culture than we have. Uh, you know, for us, when a kid says he's coming here, he, he's picked a school for different reasons. Um, certainly he likes us. He likes the basketball program. But it's, it's a fit academically. It's a fit socially. Um, it, it's a fit investment for a, in their future. So we don't you know, have to deal with so many of those things. So there's a, you know, there's a reward for coaching at that level, and there's a, there's a reward for coaching at, at our level too. Um, you know, and in the end, we have to find some guys too when you recruit that are – you've got to try and find some guys that people don't think are five-star guys and end up five-star guys. So some of that is, is the same thing. But um, I, I don't really – miss or I, yeah. I enjoy the level that, that we're at and that our guys are kind of picking schools for, for, for what's really a fit for them and fit for their future. Coach, I want to thank you for your Welcome. time. We'll see you tonight against Worcester. Good luck. Thank and you. We'll talk to you afterwards. Thank you. That was head coach Dan Priest. I'm Clayton Coffin. We'll see you next week on the Dan Priest Show, hopefully to wrap up a couple of victories over some highly ranked teams in the NCAA Division Three. For the head coach, we'll see you next time on the Kenyan Sports Connection.